In this module, we will look at the compression of image file. Let us recall the example that we used showing the digitization of the letter L. In this case, we assumed that the image has a resolution of 640 pixels horizontally and 480 pixels vertically. Let us look at the first line of pixels. We assumed that the image was made up of black and white and the digit 0 represented the color white and the digit 1 represented the color black. The first row will have in this case 640 zeros because all 640 pixels will have the color white. Likewise, the second row will also have 640 zeros because of the fact that all pixels along that line are also white in color. If you look at the third line, however, there is a difference. The first two pixels in this case will have a value of 0 to indicate white and the third pixel, however, will have a value of 1 to indicate that it has a color of black. The rest of the pixels, of course, are zeros to indicate the color is or the color is white in each of these pixels. Now let us uh, look at the transmission of the first line. In order to transmit the first line of information, we need to transmit 640 bits of information. Likewise, to transmit the second line of information, the number of digits that are required or the number of bits that are required for transmission is 640 again. The first one is for the first row and the second one is for the second row. Now if we look at this data set, we can observe a run length of data. What is a run length of data? A run length of data is an indication of a data value repeating itself over a run. If you look at the first line, the data value of 0 repeats itself 640 times. When we see a run length of data, such data sets are prime candidates for data compression. We can use a data compression technique or a data compression encoding system to reduce the number of bits that we need to use for storing the first line of image or for sending the first line of image. Let us look at a coding system as follows. Use the dollar sign, then write the number 640, followed by a dash, use the digit 0 and end it with a dollar sign. This can be assumed as a coding system where the dollar sign says that the encoded information give details of the run length of data. It means there are 640 zeros that run in one length. When this information is received on the other side, it is interpreted as 640 zeros being sent, meaning that the screen is now set to display 640 zeros, which is interpreted as 640 white pixels. So instead of sending 640 bits in uncompressed format, to send the information on line 1, we are now sending only 7 characters which is the dollar sign 640-0 dollar altogether we have 7 characters. For computational purpose, we may assume that each character requires 10 bits to store and transmit. The Transmission of characters will be discussed in one of the later modules. In general, for all computational purpose, we may assume that each character requires 10 bits for transmission. It is possible in a number of cases when the information is being transmitted using packets that on the average we may need only 8 bits for the transmission of one character. But for this calculation, if we assume 10 bits per character, we require a total of 7 times 10, which is 70 bits to transmit the information representing the first line of pixels on the image. 
Compare this with the 640 bits of information that we would have otherwise sent. In this case, we have compressed the data from 640 bits to 70 bits. As a matter of fact, we have a better opportunity in this image for data compression. If we look at the first two lines and the second line, we have in fact a run length of not 640 but 640 on the first, 640 on the second and there are two bits of zero on the third line. So altogether we have 1282 bits of information that is represented by the digit zero. So to transmit this information what we need to do is we will encode this information as follows dollar sign 1282 dash zero and followed by a dollar sign. If the pixels were all black then instead of the zero we will use the digit one. So instead of sending 1282 bits to carry the information on the first two lines and part of the second line we are only using right now eight characters one two three four five six seven eight characters to send the information in this case we require 80 bits to be transmitted which would have required otherwise 1282 bits in uncompressed format we are now able to appreciate the importance of compression in the case of images. Images lend themselves to compression easily because of the fact in most cases images have a high concentration of the same color in a particular area. When you have the same color in a particular area it allows itself to be compressed because of the run length of data that are encountered when we have the same color over a large period or a large portion of the image.